So very recently, Absolute, or the creator of Mega Hack V6, recently premiered their new Mega Hack V7. I assume I'm one of the first people to have it, so I decided why not milk it for content and showcase it. So, opening the menu is the same, you just press tab, but there's a lot of new stuff here. I think the main things are in this status. So test mode, that just allows you to change where the test mode things. Cheat indicator, that's that was there before. Message, you can just put anything you want, so violent table that I could do, no clip activated, and then it says no clip activated. And then there's also no clip accuracy, which has been there before. And then there's no clip deaths. This is kind of like no clip accuracy. It doesn't tell you like for how long you died, it just tells you how many times you died. So say if I were to just mess up a bunch here, it would tell me how many times I would have died. And that's that's a pretty cool feature. It's a decent substitute for no clip accuracy that I guess could make it playtesting a bit easier or something. I think it, it's basically it's just the same as no clip accuracy, to be honest. And next you have session time, which just tells you how long you've been playing for a level 4. If you look under the no clip deaths, just, you know, tells you how long you've been playing a level 4. Pretty simple stuff. And then you've got clock, which just which tells you what the time is, so... Right now you can see it's 7.43. But the icon, there's a new gradient thing, so I'm going to try that out. I haven't seen this yet. Okay, so maybe we can't check our gradient, because every time I try to play level with it, my game crashes. This, this feature, show layout. This is one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen. If I play a level, it turns the entire level into a layout. I'm not even sure how you could, like, do this. Like, this is actually... An incredibly impressive feature so I guess this could be used if you're like practicing a level and you want to like see the layout of it so that it may it will be easier to learn but this is this is honestly a really cool feature all of those levels that just like create layout versions of like stream demons are completely useless now there's also a favorites so you can like choose any hack in this Add it to your favorites, and then if you press whatever keybind you set, it's by default, control space, you have everything here. So that's also a very neat feature, and you may be wondering what this is. This is an integrated extreme demon roulette. They they added the extreme demon roulette as a feature in Mega Hack V6. It works exactly like the website does, except it's just a lot more convenient since you'd have to alt-tab. That, that is also an incredibly cool feature. Another feature is the stop pause switcher now. This would be very convenient if you're practicing a level. So if I go into bloodbath for instance, I place a checkpoint, you know, stop position like here, and put one like here. With the stop position switcher, using the arrow keys, I can switch between the stop positions. So I can go there, there, and back to the start if I really want to. I, there aren't many changes yet, but there are a lot of really good changes in this new update of Mega Hack V6. And obviously, this has all of the features that Mega Hack V6 does. There might be a couple bugs in this one because it's new, but I'm excited to see where this goes.